Hello statistics students. In this tutorial, we're going to do problems based on the concepts covered in week two. So this is the syllabus. Let's begin with our first question. Here they are saying given the information here in all these figures, so there are three figures. There is a bar chart, a pie chart, and a frequency table using this information answer the following question so what is this information this is essentially to do with songs and genres in a playlist so there are these genres here which is punjabi hindustani folk film soundtrack indian rock and indian and the number of songs for each of these are given. Actually, not for all of them. Hindustani and Indian pop are empty. There's nothing over there. So this is an incomplete bar graph. Now let's look at the pie chart. The pie chart is presumably for the same data. We have Indian pop and Hindustani given here with percentages. The rest of them are unnamed. We know the percentages, but they just named G1, G2, G3, G4. Okay. And lastly, we have this frequency table, which looks mostly unfilled. We've just given the number of songs as variables and relative frequency also variables, except this one particular relative frequency for the Punjabi genre. So this number 0 0.11111, if you observe, we can actually reduce it to a nice P by Q form in rational. If you are following in the maths course, let's say this is X, then that X is essentially 0 0.111111, so on. If I multiply this by 10, I'd get 1.11111111, so on. Now let's subtract. This whole thing from the previous one what do we get we have 9x is equal to 1 that would imply x is equal to 1 by 9 so this value here the one relative frequency that's given it is 1 by 9 well we don't know if this is going to be useful for us in this question but yeah you can reduce it to 1 by 9 if you like now let's go on to the actual questions Find the number of songs corresponding to the Hindustani genre. All right, let's see here. Huh. As expected, the Hindustani one, it is empty. We don't know what is the Hindustani genre songs from this particular graph. Let's look at the next one. So we know it is 16.7% of the total. The problem is we don't know what the total is. So how do we crack this? Let's look at further more data. Indian pop is also empty and this value is not really going to help us now. But this value, our 1 by 9 is going to come and help us here. The Punjabi songs, we know there are 10 of them because this is where the bar graph is ending. So we know that 1 ninth of the songs are 10 songs. So if total number of songs, are n then we know that 1 by 9 into n is equal to 10 and that implies n is equal to 90 songs overall and we know now that hindustani is 16.7 percent of 90 songs so let's calculate that this is essentially then 16.7 by 100 it is very likely that the 16.7 is a approximate value a rounded off value uh, so anyway let us find out what is happening here we get 9 times 1.67 which is coming out to be 15.03 
so we know that number of songs has to be an integer so this has to be essentially 15 songs so if you have to represent this in our bar graph we would get something like this maybe of course that's rough moving on find the number of songs corresponding to the indian pop genre so we have indian pop to be 7.8 percent so again we have 7.8 percent of 90 songs let us calculate it here we would get 7.8 by 100 into 90 which gives us 0.78 into 9 which is 7.02 so yeah this must be rounded off to 7 songs so going back to our bar graph that probably comes still somewhere here so it looks something like this which is the modal genre in the playlist we know that modal genre is the genre with most frequency so here that would be indian rock evidently indian rock has the maximum so this must be this value must be about 24 it is a little less than 25 but it is definitely more than half of this particular line considerably more than half of this so it can't be 23 either so it has to be 24 so indian rock is our model genre so this is indian rock finally we are being asked find the appropriate genres from the playlist that correspond to g1 g2 g3 g4 which are what are here we know that g1 is 11.1 percent so 11.1 percent of 90 would be again 11.1 by 100 into 90 which is basically 9.99 9 .99. so this must be roughly 10 songs so let's see which genre has 10 songs it's punjabi so g1 must be punjabi let's look at g2 g2 is twice the percentage of g1 so this must be 20 songs and which has 20 songs here folk so g2 must be folk and then look at g3 26.7 percent so what is 26.7 percent of 90 so 26.7 by 100 into 90 zero zero cancel so off we are getting 2.67 into 9 what would that be this is essentially 24.03 so roughly 24 songs and we have seen earlier that 24 songs is the number for our model genre which is indian rock so g3 is certainly indian rock and lastly g4 is whatever is left and what is left here everything else is done indian pop is done punjabi is done hindustani is done indian rock is done folk is also done so g4 definitely has to be film soundtrack so g1 was punjabi g2 was folk g3 is indian rock 
and lastly G4 is film soundtrack. And so this is the final frequency table along with the corresponding relative frequencies. If you add up all these numbers, you will get 10 plus 15 is 25, 25 plus 20 is 45, plus 14 is 59, plus 24 is 83, and plus 7 gives us 90, which is what we expect. And likewise, if you sum the relative frequencies, you will get 1. Thank you.